I had the opportunity to, to play um, Coretta Scott King um, in a production for HBO called Boycott, and it was the it was really dealing with the bus boycott of 1955. So that's ten years prior to who I'm playing now. And I think I'm really dealing with a very different Coretta at this point. The marriage is in a very different state, uh, and that's something that we really explore in Selma. Um, I think when I first got to play her, both her and Martin were at the beginning of taking on the role of first and first lady and 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 sort of leader of of the movement. By this point, they've really been steeped and very much they're deep in the trenches at this point. And I think the threat of violence and death as being something that is a potential. Um, in their, on their horizons, I think is very much more um, palpable. And as a result, there's just much more of a burden that I think is very evident in the way that she conducts herself. Uh, and so it's been quite an interesting thing to have played her at a much fresher, more sort of optimistic stage in her life and then to sort of move 10 years on and have all of that experience, all of that sort of knowledge and research that I had from playing her the first time and then adding to that um, with something that's so much weightier. I actually played her almost a little more than 10 years ago. So there's, it, it's just been a very fascinating sort of parallel and, and an amazing thing to have your own personal life experience, be able to imbue the experience of the character that you're playing, I think that's quite unique in my career and I can't think of too many actors that have had the chance to play a character in almost the same amount of t distance um, on screen as in their own real lives, so it's, it's been a treat actually. I think Corella is one of those women that was forever uh, the, the devoted wife, but I think uh, what we're exploring in this script is the fact that although there was a presentation of devotion, I think internally there was a lot of struggle that she had to go through. Um, and so this is a scene where she's sort of worked through that struggle and she's decided to, to be by his side in a very sort of public and visible way. I did have the opportunity to spend time with Mrs. King when she was alive and I was very, very grateful that she gave me her blessing of my first performance of Coretta, so I would hope that she'd be giving me the same for this one. Um, and she was a really remarkable woman. I, I was moved to tears, quite literally, when I first met her, because without saying a word, she just had this stoicism about her and this presence that, was, that, that had such grandiosity that you couldn't help but be over, overwhelmed by it. Um, and and then I sort of composed myself and, and got to spend some time. And she was an incredibly warm, um, matriarchal figure. And uh, yeah, she, uh, she it, I'm just very, very fortunate to have had that time with her. He's right there. He, he, he looks the part. He's worked very hard physically to, to, to um, resemble Martin. The, to listen to him talk is, is fantastic because he's really found the, the timbre and the melody and the, the rhythms of Martin Luther King. And he's just a very generous person to work opposite. He, he really wants the best from you and he knows how to get it out of you. And, uh, and he demands the best of himself every day that he shows up to work. Ava is a phenomenon. <laughs> I, I find her to be somebody that somehow, without much sleep, has the most energy on set every day. She's, um, she, she's got such an attention to detail, which I really appreciate. She's an actor's director. She's a technical director. She has an incredibly specific vision that she is implementing and that she's staying true to every day. Um, and she's doing all of this while remaining creatively open as a vessel and willing to hear ideas. And um, I'm thoroughly impressed by what she's managing on this because this is quite an epic undertaking in many ways. Uh, 
yet she's staying true to her independent spirit, which is, I think, really difficult to achieve when you're working at such a scale. Uh, but she has already established prior to this movie a very clear aesthetic, and I think she's allowing herself the freedom to, to remain true to that aesthetic in this as well. I think it's important for people to see this film because I think the voting rights issue never goes away. I think the civil rights issue never really goes away. I think it's a conversation that has to be had. What I think this film makes very clear is that in order to have the privilege of the right to vote and to have access to civil rights at its best, you have to be proactive. Um, and I think sometimes we need to be reminded of that. I think culturally, a degree of apathy can creep in quite easily, and uh, I think this film reminds you that you have to be active on the grassroots level, uh, right the way up to the president. There has to be a real agenda that you all participate in, um, or else your democracy doesn't really work. Ava has been invaluable to this um, process of making this film in that, as a writer, she was very adamant that she brought the voices of women that contributed to this movement to the fore of the script. Ava, as a director and as a writer, has been very vocal um, and very adamant in making sure that the diversity of women um, were represented in this script, and I think she's been incredibly successful in doing that. For a lot of people, Coretta is the only real female figure of the movement, but in fact, there's Diane Nash, who was this wonderfully young, rebellious girl that was, uh, was, was incredibly participatory. There is Annie Lee Cooper, who uh, was this, you know, a, a feisty woman of a whole other generation, along with Amelia Boynton. Uh, these aren't victims, and often women in this sort of arena are painted as sort of only supportive of their husbands and perhaps more sort of the victimized sort of sidelined characters. And in fact, in this script, we bring to your attention that there were some incredibly dynamic, forceful, powerful and relevant women that played as much a part in making Selma um, the moment in history that it was as any of the men.